So, uh, thanks, David. Um, so, um, I'm here just to set the peacock in a bit of context. Um, so, hopefully, everyone here has come across SCARF at some point. So, it's now 10 years, 10 years this year, since the original national SCARF was launched online in 2012. And scarf has been managed um, throughout the process by the Society of Antiquaries of Scotland. At the time, it was quite unique in being both a national research framework, but also one that was exclusively online. Um, instead of being a book or a static um, piece of writing pamphlet, it was online, it could be changed, it could be updated. It told us what we knew at the time, 2012, and what we wanted to know in future about the archaeology of Scotland across all time periods. So since 2012, SCARF has added new thematic research frameworks, and we do a lot of work to promote archaeological research across Scotland. But there was always going to be the need to look afresh at the National SCARF. Um, it's now 10 years old. It needed to be kept updated and kept relevant. So we launched our new Look website back in 2020, um, just a few months into the pandemic. Um, we maintained much of the original content, but now the website has a lot of scope to do much more. In 2021, we had record views of over 100,000, um, and it's now used more than ever in Scottish archaeology. So our main focus for the past five years has been updating the national framework from 2012. It was decided the best way to do this would be through a series of regional research frameworks of which PCARP is the latest to be launched. The map shows where all the projects um, we've been working on, so either complete um, or in progress, so they're the colored ones, and the white areas are the areas where we, we're still looking to get projects started. We currently have an application in um, for a project to start in the Clyde Valley region, which, which would be our next new one, hopefully, to start next year. And these regional frameworks will update and add much more detail, more nuance to the national picture, and will be tailored much better to the local region. Hopefully, they'll be much more useful to all the people who work with archaeology and heritage locally um, in the regions, and as David was saying, um, particularly for the local archaeology planning and development control as well. But we also have some exciting developments to better highlight um, and link um, the research question, so the what we want to know, um, to systems within the UK, um, including of how archaeological work um, is reported. So, um, as David was saying, the PCARF is structured like most of our other frameworks and with chronological chapters and easy to navigate side menu. Um, there's more consistent structure to our latest regional research framework, so we have themes that can be followed through the chapters. Um, you'll notice this is in our Highland research framework as well as PCARF. Um, we hope you can browse much more easily and jump to what you are looking for. And what's also different is that the research recommendations and agendas um, as well as re clear research questions are pulled out and they are given their own pages. So already launched in England and coming to Scotland um, by the end of the year, hopefully, is something called Oasis 5, which many of you might be aware of and use regularly. And this is the main way for archaeological work to be reported in the UK. And it asks anyone um, who's done any archaeological work to report it via the Oasis form um, and what we'll be doing in future is asking anybody reporting work to answer the question, does your research answer any research questions in any of our research frameworks? So OASIS is used mainly in the commercial sector, but can also be used to, import, to report any archaeological work by academic projects, community groups, etc. And um, what's reported in OASIS also links directly to discovery and excavation in Scotland. So people will be able to pick which frameworks are relevant, um, they'll be able to um, pick which questions they are answering or contributing to. And then this report um, will then contribute to, to answering these questions. We'll be able to update SCARF, we'll be able to update PCARF, and keep it much more up to date. We'll be able to link to new research, so it won't be as static as the old SCARF, the original SCARF was. And there will also be a new research framework network website um, which will link the whole of the UK research framework, so not just Scotland. Um, so you can see um, the work in progress at the moment, um, uh, front page of the website. So you'll be able to search across different frameworks across the UK. So if you're interested in Roman presence in Northern Britain, you could look at the Perth and Kinross framework, South East Scotland, North East England, the forthcoming Antonine Wall research framework that we're going to be launching in SCARF um, soon. 
all in one place. So just to round up, um, look out for new updates to SCARF. So PCAST, our latest research framework, the Highland one was launched last year on SCARF. We hope to be making research much easier to find, um, keeping SCARF more updatable and encourage much more research into archaeology of Scotland. Um, a final thought is very much that the process of creating SCARF is often as important as the final product. So um, as David said, many, many people are involved in creating a regional research framework or a thematic framework. And it brings so many people together in a room to talk about things, to meet people, often get other projects off the ground as, as, a, as a response to actually talking about these issues. So I just really want to say a final thank you um, to everybody who's involved, particularly in the PCAR project. So thank you very much to David, who's led the project, and everybody at Perth and Kid, Heri Perth and Kid Ross Heritage Trust um, and his team who's worked on the project throughout the year years, um, particularly with obviously the COVID pandemic and other challenges to cope with over that time. Um, so please encourage you all to go and take a look at PCAF. It's both accessible from the SCARF website, but also from the Perth and Kinross Heritage Trust website as well. Um, our stall at the SCARF is over there, so come and um, have a chat with Jen and I um, during the rest of the day. And please get in touch with any questions. Thank you. <laughs>